Construction noise reverberates across the Virginia Military Institute campus, making room for what is being called a military training facility. This will be really one of the first on the East Coast. Uh, I, I believe West Point may have something similar, but otherwise we're, we're going to be one of the first in, in this area, in this side of the nation that will have this. This indoor training facility is part of a bigger project that involved relocation of three buildings. After the recent recession, VMI was the first school with a detailed outline of what it planned to do with the taxpayer dollars, making it the attractive candidate for state funding. This is phase one, it's new construction. It's about 200,000 square feet, uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of just under $80 million total. It includes uh, primarily an indoor hydraulically operated 200 meter track. The facility will house our track and field team, but in addition, it's used for the entire core. Uh, it'll have a high rope system up in the roof rafters. It has a 35 foot climbing wall. Phase two, the renovation of Cormac and Cock Halls is nearly complete. Together, the three buildings form the core physical training facilities. It really answers the big part about VMI. The distinctive part about VMI is the military aspect, and of course that's very physical. And this, this, uh, this particular building really answers the question about how we train cadets in the physical aspects of, of their military education. For the Rockbridge Report, I'm Barbara Bent.